R.I.P. Big Scar. Welcome to Celestial Tower Readings with Auntie Sam. I posted his picture today. He's a Memphis rapper, and I posted his picture on um, my community page. Some people came through and said, oh, they lost. Who is that? Kind of disrespectful. What do you mean you're lost? You can't be lost because you came directly to my community page and clicked on a picture. So you can't be lost. You knew exactly what you were doing. So I blocked your ass so you can go get lost. Get lost since you're lost. Uh, as you can see, Auntie Sam don't have time for fuckery. Let's do this reading on Big Scar. Celestialtarotreadings.com straight. No chaser, baby. I don't play no games with it. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm just going to read a quick article and then I've got these cards here because apparently he OD'd on some bad pills, some bad perks. We want to find out if that is indeed the case, okay? I've got the mystical tarot here. As I read the article, it's very, very quick, one or two minutes. It will inform and infuse the cards. The energy will go through my hands into the cards and open up the relevant portals to show us the situation, to show us where really are going. With this 22-year-old young African-American man, another rapper, another rapper from Memphis with a very sticky, sticky, sticky background. And I'm going to tell you more about that in a minute. As soon as I heard that this happened this morning, about 3 or 4 o'clock Morocco time, I think 3.30, 3.45 Morocco time, which is UTC, baby, I went straight to a certain person's Facebook page. And you know who me I talk about because I did a reading on her before. Okay? Yes. I went to um, J Money's Mumma's page, Kamisha, Kamisha Henderson. All right, Big Scar's death. All right, fans are saying the same thing as Gucci Mane. Now, Gucci Mane had signed him. Okay, after some interest was shown in the guy. And he confirms um, the Memphis rapper's passing at just 22 years. This, this is a real baby. Okay, born Alexander Woods in Memphis, Tennessee on April the 7th, 2000. Scar shot to fame when he, now he was already street famous. But in terms of the music industry, he shot to fame when he released his debut track, Make a Play, on YouTube 2019. In 2020, he was signed to rap icon Gucci Mane's record label, 1017 Records. Big Scar's passing has been confirmed by Gucci Mane. Okay? You can go to Gucci's Instagram page and his wife, Keisha Kayo's um, Instagram page and see the tribute that they put up for, for the youth. No official cause of death is available. Okay, so right now it's rumors. Tributes began pouring in for the young artists with podcasts. The streets are talking and um, it reached Auntie Sam's ears as well. Okay, the, the rumors I'm talking about. Um, with podcast and YouTube star DJ Academics tweeting, Big Pum Pum Academics tweeting, RIP Big Scar after the news began circulating online. Okay, Big Scar has six compilation albums in his catalog, including So Icy Summer 2020, okay, So Icy Gang Volume 1, which is also in 2020, So Icy Boys 2021, So Icy Gang The Re Up 2022. Also this year, So Icy Boys 22, So Icy Boys, the finale. And really, man, yeah. <clears throat> this is the finale. But it doesn't stop here because energy is still alive and throbbing and the guy just passed. Down home blues, down home blues, 
All I wanted to hear is those down home blues on that long home addiction. We got the devil card here. Okay. Addiction. He was chained to something. Allegedly, the chemical, the perk, the, the, um, the, what's it called? The lean. Let's get another card though. Because usually on the devil card, we have a man and a woman who's chained. Sometimes it's a lonely journey, addiction, but very often people get high together card. Ace of Wands. Okay, this was a deliberate act. And there's some strong business energy coming off of this Ace of Wands. Yes, family, hold on a second. Let me just put it over here on this incense. Ache. Yeah, see? Portal open right up. This was a deliberate act by somebody. Okay? The wand looks like a paintbrush, like a pen here. And it's it's kind of like when you sign a contract or you sign an agreement. Okay? This was probably a verbal agreement. Spiritually signed. Okay? Somebody agreed to do this. Involving addiction to get rid of. One second. Yeah, six of coins here in reverse. Boy, six of coins, you know what this is about. It's about charity, it's about giving, it's about getting your fair share. But the card here is in reverse, family. There's a lot of scarabs there that the man is feeding, but the card is in reverse. The man who's feeding the scarabs doesn't want to feed them. Look, he doesn't want to. Or the money isn't there for him to do that. Okay, that's the card when it's upright, giving and receiving money. But the card is in reverse. Put these three cards together. We've got definite business energy. Somebody, a third party who is instructed to use this vice energy, this addiction energy, to get rid of Big Scar. And it's all to do with someone who didn't want to pay him. Yeah. Okay. Now, I don't know if Big Scar was doing any kind of business where somebody would owe him money and he would be collecting money from them and they didn't want to pay him. Uh, didn't want to pay him or didn't have the money to pay him, but somebody else was um, solicited to help with this. Okay. And it's in the upright. Now this is interesting because it's not a. This is not just a. a um, a, what would you say? A, a plot to kill somebody, or a a plan to kill somebody. There's no real plot energy here. It was just do this, and it was done. Okay, but the ace of wands here is is very legitimate. Got very legitimate energy to it. So it does look as if this is a some kind of. Uh, could be company or label. Now, of course, he is signed to Gucci Man. Okay. The Hermit card. Whoever, whoever gave the orders or order for this, whoever wanted this done, has gone away somewhere. We've got the Hermit card here. Somebody gone far away and chilling, but but not that far. They're in Tennessee. Okay. Look at the woods here. Ain't there some, ain't those some Tennessee woods if ever you saw them? Uh, uh, shame. So the person who wanted this done to Big Scar <clears throat> is in Tennessee, hiding out, just away in the woods. Uh, light on the hiding, to be honest with you. Next card. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. There we go. We've got two Aces now. Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords in reverse. This is the sword of conflict here. The desire to kill this guy. There we go. Those are your two Aces. Hold on. Hold on. I want to get some more information off of them, so I'm just smoking them.
the person got knots and ropes tied up. Anyway, this Ace of Swords here, this Ace of Swords here, I don't know if, if um, Big Scar ever sang with anybody, if he ever wanted to sing with like a girl or or, they, or have a partner who sang and he had a song or track with them. And he was close to them because that's the person who he was getting high with. That person was instructed to um, do something, either give him the bad drugs or spike his um, lean or something. Ace of Swords here in reverse. The Devil card, addiction. Somebody else was with him, as I just said. Business energy attached to it and to confirm we got the six of pentacles, six of coins here in reverse. Somebody who didn't want to pay him. And got another, I wouldn't call her an artiste, but what I would say is that she has an interest in singing because a really beautiful singing voice is coming up for her. And maybe she wanted to do a song or she has done a track with Big Scar or something like that, but it's definitely a girl the person so it's not gucci because gucci don't live in tennessee but the person is right now as i speak and as this incense is burning right here in africa this person is in tennessee but away in a wooded area which sounds kind of funny because tennessee is very very woody isn't it There's a lot of woodland there and remote areas and so on but this person is out of the way There is this wisdom, this thinking, this consideration energy that's going on with that person. You know what it is, family? It doesn't seem as if that person had any dislike. It seemed like very, very formal. Like this was something that had to happen. But it's also coming up, family, that this wasn't just about money. Okay. Think of it this way, if you own a company and one of your workers, one of your employees is addicted to drugs, it may or may not affect their work performance, but it may or not may or may not make them a liability to you. Obviously, you would have some insurance on them, but there is this energy here that the person did not want to pay him, but of course they would get a payout if, if there was insurance on, on Big Scar or if they had insurance on Big Scar. It's not clear that this is Gucci Mane though, to be honest with you, it's not. Because I'm getting some deep Tennessee vibes on this. And of course, Gucci is um, from Georgia and that's where he live, isn't it? He live there or he live in Miami? Okay. So right now, there is a question mark. Okay, the question mark as to who the, who that person is because it's not Gucci and the interesting thing is this person felt like they had to get rid of him and now they're just sitting thinking and pondering <laughs> this is some crazy old producer energy a crazy old producer so who would that be from Tennessee Rest in peace, young Dolph. Say, so can't be him. I don't know if it's Yo Gotti, Big Joke, or even what's, his, what's, what's the man's name? Daddy O. But then again, if Big Scar was signed to Gucci, would he have anything to do with Daddy O? It, it just seemed like 
the person that has not really got any emotion any emotions about making this decision and using getting rid of one young person and using another possibly young person to off him and it's just a formality I hate to say it, but it seems like there's an inevitability about it. Which really shouldn't have been there because there are many young rappers who are addicted to X, Y, and Z, and they're high performing and they have hits and they become superstars. So what would make him a liability in particular? So Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. Now, on the Seven of Swords, this card is about deceit. Somebody who is running from one house to another, to another, to another, or running from a tent and taking things from that tent and running away, stealing things, and thinking that the people inside of the house don't know what he's doing. Yeah? On this um, mystical tarot deck, We've got a wolf here. I'll show it to you upright. You see the wolf there? And the wolf is running away with the swords, the his decisions, the things that he's done. He's not telling the truth. He's not, he's being cunning. And the card here is in reverse. So it's like the wolf has got has got caught. The wolf got caught. Being dishonest and doing something underhanded and shady and not thinking that people knew what he was doing. So, so, so. Here, what we are being told is that Big Scar had something else going on and maybe he had planned to, to exit or leave or do something or get away. I'm getting runaway slave energy. I am. I know I'm just talking about the woods and so on and so forth, but I'm getting runaway slave energy in that somebody is chained to somebody. Chained to a devil of some kind. But this must be a real old long-term devil with this old producer anyhow and it's not gucci but big scar was doing something underhanded i think that somebody and uh, thinking that this this man in particular who has a connection to him who didn't want to pay him for something thinking that he didn't know so we got big scar trying to outsmart an old an og an older guy Understand? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. You know something, the fox was hunted as well. Fox hunting energy is coming up. You know I'm British anyway, that's one of the things that people used to do in, in the UK. Um, wealthy people, upper classes, fox hunting is like a pastime for them. They have fox hunting parties on big estates and manors and all this type of thing. Yeah. But yeah, Big Scar was the fox that was being hunted, so to speak. So it's like this guy was tailing him or following him or trying to get him in a particular position or, you know, just keep monitoring and keeping an eye on him until he got him where he wanted to and then brought in this third party, this girl, and then that whole scenario was set up. Pull some more cards. Now, what y'all don't know about, or what you may do know, what you may know about, is that there's a lady called Kamisha Henderson. And she had 
two sons, one called J Money and one called D Money. Now, I have done a reading on her son, J Money, before. I did a whole, and it's still on my channel. Yeah? Uh, her name is in the title, something Kamisha Henderson or Kimmy Kimmy, something like that. I can remember it kind of, you know, vaguely. But it's right there. Okay? I shall find it and put it in the um, comment section of this video. But the point of the matter is, I'm getting tongue tied. The point of the matter is, family. She now had those two sons, and I did the. A, a very weird thing happened when I did that video. At the end of it, the energies made me sing this song by Jackie O'Neill. Our love is so much higher than something. That's the way we roll. That's the way we roll. You remember that song by Jackie Neal? Maybe you don't know it. Jackie Neal is a singer from um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And she has a song about the Neal family called That's the Way We Roll. That's the way we roll. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dun, dun. That's the way. Anyway, at the end of that reading um, on J Money, that song came up into the energies. And I closed the video. You know, family. So the whole point of this is the guy who's just been killed, Big Scar, used to be a friend, goodly as somebody who Kamisha Henderson had in her kitchen and raised in her house and fed him and stuff like that. Because at one time, this Big Scar, Alexander, was friends with her sons with her sons and then they split off into two separate gangs j money and d money and big scar used to be in what they call trula mafia which is a young terrorist group from memphis tennessee right and they had many promising rappers within that group key glock himself was also part of trula mafia as well they all used to kind of hang together. Now, this guy was 22 that just passed away. So we're talking about, and, and D Money and J Money were killed maybe two years ago now. Okay? So we're talking about people who were 18 and 19 years old. So these are some young guys who were all together in a group. But then they split off because Big Scar left and formed another gang, another terrorist group called RR, and they use like the Rolls Royce symbols. Okay, so the double R. So um, when I heard the news this morning, I went to Kamisha's Facebook page and basically she was celeb she was talking about D money and J money their, their ghosts must have spin the block they're still spinning the block that's what she said yeah and um, how she can take flowers to their grave and so on and so forth and I don't think she used the word celebrations but those there were three or maybe four posts to suggest that yeah she was very very happy that big red is now dead and she referred to karma as well okay when the two groups split up when there was a split within their street group um, a lot of blood was shed now let's pull some cards on how she feels I mean I, we, uh, I already told you how she feels she she basically you know <laughs> doing the electric slide over there on Facebook on her page She's a mother who's hurting. Card just popped out. I'm going to pull it. The Hierophant here in reverse. You know what's coming up with this Hierophant card, family? This is, um again, this contract energy, this formal legal energy in the reverse. But the thing about it is, it's to do with it. it as I just said to you, the mother was, you know, electric sliding on Facebook kind of thing in terms of being happy about this seeing it as some kind of karma but with this hierophant card in reverse i'm picking up like unpaid royalties or not even unpaid royalties but the fact that 
Like this lady feels like she got a bee in her bonnet because she feels that really people have been either eating off of her son's talents, in particular J Money, who was actually, you know, if I didn't do the reading on him, I wouldn't have known that that guy was very, very talented. If things were different, family, J Money would be exactly where um, Key Glock is today in terms of status and wealth and recognition within the Memphis and national and international music industry. J Money would be a star for sure because he was a very, very, very good rapper and he was signed. He was signed by Dolph and Daddy. In fact, Daddy O was the first one to... Daddy O is young Dolph's business partner. He signed a few guys from Trula Mafia. J Money was one of them and he was the bright star. But with this Hierophant card here in reverse, it's there's this salty, bitter energy from Kamisha towards Big Scar. Think, you know, because it's the same thing I just said. It's like she feels that she's glad he's gone because really it should have been her son who was um, signed by Gucci Mane, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? She, it's this kind of... I fed you and I looked after you, you used to kick it with my sons and, and one time we I loved you like a son and now look. So is it it's like like she's hating on everybody who's offered a contract or off or or who legitimizes their talent. I don't know how to say it, how to put it in another way. But she basically hating on the young guys who kicked it and was around with her sons. Her sons are now physically gone. And they could have been successful. They could have been wealthy. They could have been signed to Gucci. They could have been signed to Young Dolph. They could have been in Key Glock's place. They could have been in Big Scar's place, etc. Let me get another clarification card for this higher form card as well, you know, family. There's police energy on here as well. So maybe she felt that Big Scar was a police informer and informed on her sons when her sons were alive. I don't know. I don't know. And another thing as well, in the reading that I did, there was a question mark as to who killed... D money or, or J money, excuse me, who killed him? There was a question mark that it wasn't the people who they thought it was. I have to go back to that reading. Clarification card anyway, for the Hierophant card here in reverse. There's snitch snitch energy on here, temperance. Another one. Justice in reverse. Yeah. Some kind of snitch energy on it. So Kamisha felt, she still feels, obviously, with the Justice card here in reverse, the Hierophant card here in reverse, and then we have the Temperance card here, card here in reverse. You know, very, very difficult and unmanageable situation. We got the Hierophant in reverse, the, the cop energy, the snitch energy. And then we got justice here in reverse as well. So either it's something that, that Big Scar did or didn't do. So he's either a snitch or he refused to cooperate about something in regards to her sons. Something like that, you know? Or she feels that he was responsible for the death of either one of her sons and he, did, he escaped justice. Even now the guy's dead. He, there's still no justice for her. As much as she's there crowing, you know, kind of doing that on Facebook, as much as she's doing that in her mind, in her soul, she still doesn't feel that there's been justice. The fact that he's dead, Big Scar, is not enough justice in regards to to, to what happened to her sons. She, she needs more. What, what more do you need? Kamisha, he's dead. If he was in jail, 
if he wasn't rich maybe would would that make you feel better i don't know i don't know you know again there's a lot of grief involved in these things as well the only person who doesn't seem to be grieving but kind of just thinking and pondering and in some very kind of bizarre state of mind kind of nonchalant but matter of fact state of mind is this og that um big scar thought that he knew better than um so yeah so that's it he was killed he didn't die accidentally he didn't overdose he may have well have taken some lean spiked with something or he may have well had uh, some bad perks but it was deliberate he didn't ingest it willingly at least he wasn't informed as to what it was he was taking and he was taken out www.celestialtarotreadings.com auntie sam here in africa baby this has been the reading on Big Scar. Rest in peace, young man. Ache.